What's up, man? Stevie Salas, Phil X, Pantera 2, Supreme. Look at that finish, man. In New Mexico, they call it that. Pantera 2. Whoa. Burrito Supreme. <laughs> they don't even have burritos in Mexico, <laughs> just so you know. That's an American Mexican. That's Tex Mex. Tex Mex. So, this is a beautiful maple top. Like, that's a triple A flame, I, I would think. Um, so, we're Duncans. We got mahogany back. It's a nice, actually, nice, just a, a gloss, high gloss stain on it. It's awesome. Uh, again, though, hold on. Your maple top, look, show this side right here. Like the idol maker, like the other guitars, we have it thinner on the edges, and look how thick it is where the muscle is. Yeah. Show this right here, you can really see that angle. You can really see that. See how thick, look how thick the um, maple gets right around the neck. And the price is right. Um, so this is, uh, I think, two volumes and a tone. So top volume. <laughs> And yes, two volumes and a tone, and it probably ah push pull you can split the coils, man. I've been doing that a lot lately. Woo! Um, and you can also do uh, if you wanted to, you could do uh, Judas Priest. If you're gonna play Judas Priest, you gotta play Green Man Alicia or I'm out. All right. I saw him play that when I was a kid at San Diego Civic. Wow, I saw them play that when I was a little older than a kid. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, 16, 17. But I mean, it was like, um, um, Still, they were playing like 2,000 seat venues. Wow. And, and it was the live, and it was the same tour as the live Unleashed in the East album, where Green Man Alicia is on. Holy shit. I, I saw um, Screaming Revengeance. I saw that tour. Mm -hmm. And they had 38 Marshall stacks. I was up there counting them as, a, as a kid. But I'm like, wait a minute. And then the light would hit some of the stacks, and there were like no speakers. In oh, there. see, that's a rip. Okay. I'll, Liars. Hold on. Well, so I, in, in your hometown of Toronto, Opening for ACDC in the Stones, I made Angus's tech follow the cables. He had 800 watt super lead heads, 16 cabinets. I kept saying, bullshit, they're not all plugged in. He goes, I swear to God, Stevie. And he followed the cables. Every one of them was plugged Even in. Even on the last tour. Every one of them was on. They didn't knock you over. On and plugged in. That's amazing. I know, because most guys, so you know, I hate to blow the bubble, but most of those guys have like one amp and, yeah. and then they have all that shit. Well, and the funny thing about it is that we're talking about rock and roll, like in the history of rock and roll and our history as guitar players, all seeing our, all our favorite guitar players. Anyways, let's get back to the Pantera too. Well, they would often play guitars made of mahogany with oh, maple yeah. top. This is mine. And I just got that. We just changed this pickup. It's going to be all screwed up and stuff because the knobs are, I got big knobs. And this has been all screwed up and that, that's got to get screwed up, but that's got my neck on it. Which this is, is cool too. It's all so like, this is the custom shop. They do amazing stuff. Well, this and would be called a, a, a relic finish somewhat of a relic. Yeah, relic. But maybe finish. not super relic out. Like we can get them to where your guitar looks like it's from 1950. Yeah, yeah but you can tell it wasn't like razor bladed like some idiots do. This is like, this is like some kind of nitro stuff. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, bad. That sounds pretty bad. You know what's funny about this, and not the name drop, but Juan Alderetti, I was just coming in from the Munich airport, and he sent me a picture of this guitar because he's stuck in traffic coming from Frankfurt. And he says, have you seen Phil's new guitar? <laughs> he, says, he says, it's better than yours. Oh. And I go, well, I'll get one then. Oh, see, that's how it works around here. Anyways, check this shit out, man. Um, I'm going to do the neck pickup for you. That's like a classic. What is that pickup? It's a, that's a Seymour um, Seymour uh, SD SD might even be the, 59? The, it might be the same one as Slash as you might be, no no it's a, I think it's a 59 it's and I think this is a custom custom oh and, and custom custom really is too. my Wait. Turn it down. <laughs> so like a, 
like a great Les Paul, it's very versatile. The thing about those pickups are, is, it, is like the, the custom customers is a pickup I've been using forever that Seymour always made for me, but they really didn't make it for me. I, be I believe it was originally made for Eddie Van Halen. It has enough wavo where it rocks, but it's still clean, so when you back it like that, you still hear every oh, note. Oh, that's the beauty of, uh, of these pickups and these guitars, everything like really, like a lot of people put a capacitor or a resistor on a volume pot, and you don't have to do with this. If you had a good guitar and a good amp and a nice pickup, it's gonna clean up really nice. So I'd be like, uh, if I was doing like, I gotta have the neck pickup on full so I can go. <laughs> Just switch to here to go. And that one doesn't. And that one doesn't have a treble bleed. What? That one doesn't have a treble bleed in the on the on the on the, on the volume pot. Oh yeah, and then I turn it up for the. That's, what's the one Slash uses? Says, Marcus, man, we can't figure out the pickup. We, you know, we, we have so many choices here at the Framus Custom Shop. Sometimes we get confused. Well, yeah, I think it's an Alco Pro 2. It's gotta be. But the coolest thing is, is we can just try whatever we want. To yeah, find that well, I came in today and this had like a, a different pickup in it and then we tried something else and it sounds great. So I'm, ex I'm excited. But uh, this thing sounds great. It sounds great, it looks beautiful. I think it could use bigger knobs. You can edit that. And uh, I think that you I think could you have uh, the bigger knobs for for this. Like those are big knobs. Those are those are really cool. They're knobs. not even guitar knobs. They're like ripped off. Are these ones from like last two years ago when we were digging through that back ring and you found yeah. all those weird except, things? Except it's funny because I always ask for big knobs and Marcus is like running out of bass amps because there's like a big pile of junk bass amps out there that have these knobs. So you got to do what I do. You got to go back there and you got to take them all off yourself and put them in a, in a drawer somewhere so no one else can get Marcus them. Marcus is the best. He already does that for me. Sounds beautiful. That's the way it comes. It, you buy it when it's out of tune. If you're yeah. gonna buy it in tune, it costs the B's gonna be a little flat. Costs a little bit extra. But this is the Pantera 2 that we designed with Marcus yes. last year, right? Yeah. We. Oh yeah. We should talk about what we did. So the neck is a little thicker than the Pantera one, and the headstock is a little bigger. The and body's the, the body a lot is a lot thicker. thicker. It's it's approaching like a a thicker body again to get a little more tone. Again, we stuck to our what we've been doing for the last four years, where we put a lot of thickness here where the, where the where sound the, is, yeah. and we leaned it out just kind of light around here to make it sexy around the edges. That's right. It lightens it up, and you don't need all that extra weight. And no, then, man. But the muscle's all right through here. Yeah, the muscle. Right, right through here. He's been working out. We're talking about muscle now. You know how it is. American Indian, muscle, all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's next? Well, all I know okay. is this guitar is sick. And I'm getting one made. I'm gonna try one with a Floyd Rose. Yeah. I, you know, Marcus has been talking about Floyd Rose all day now. I don't, because I've been bugging him about it, but I, I used to be really good with the Floyd Rose back yeah. like when I was young. Yeah. Now when I play with one, I, I feel really odd. I gotta that practice. Too, man. It takes practice, right? You can't just do it. You it gotta, took forever yeah. to get off it. It was like weaning yourself off drugs. Yes, exactly. But then getting back on it is like, uh, I can't do it anymore. I felt like a grown up when I said, no more Floyd Roses, and I could actually play and and not get lost and just grab that thing every time I got well, lost. Well, it's a crutch. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> but I want a crutch again. Yeah, it's nice. I want to try it again, but when I do it now, I feel weird. You know, so Alex Lifeson, not to name drop, but Alex Lifeson, a fellow Canadian friend of ours, he has a new guitar, and he went back to a Floyd Rose, and yeah. I wrote and asked him about it. Yeah. Because now when I feel him on it, it feels weird, and you feel him moving, but I'm going to try one of these with a Floyd Rose. We'll it's see what happens. Sure. So maybe in the next video, we'll have one more. In the next video. In the next So, Pantera 2, thanks for hanging. Um, Pantera 2 is the baddest ass new guitar going, I think, right now, though. Stevie Salas, Phil X, from Framus. Framus Custom Shop, Germany. Mark Kraken, 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 Germany. Thank you. Where the sauerkraut is indeed sour. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Cut. Thank you.